Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial I want to show you how you can combine view teleport component with transition component to create less buggy but more fancy models in your Vue.js applications. Alright, let's get to it. Inside our demo application it's just a landing page with an h1 as the heading and a table. This table represents items, each item has a corresponding edit button. Clicking on the edit button will open a model and that model will allow us to change the name. So changed like that and click save, changed. So far, so good. Well, not exactly so good. If we take a closer look at the model here, we see that it has some overlay effect and this is blurring only the table. And that wasn't my intentions. I was planning for this model to take over the entire screen, to be centered in the entire page and to blur anything outside of this model. So let's have a look why this is happening inside our code. Right here in the app.view, view, we are using the custom table component. So taking a look at this component, it's a normal component listing some items. It has that table. And for each row, it is using table row component. This table row component is presenting that item details. So the ID and the name and the edit button to edit this specific item. And it also has the custom model because this model allows us to pass uh, HTML inside the component, inside the custom model component as a slot. And this HTML is directly relevant to the item. So it makes sense to have it here inside the component. But the problem is that there is conflicting styles between the styles that this model should apply on the entire page and the styles it's getting from its parents. The issue is that this model in the HTML in the DOM, it is deeply nested inside our table. So right here, this is the table body and this is the table row and this is our model. And it doesn't make sense to have the model apply the overlay on the container, which is the table body. It should apply the overlay on the body because it should apply on the entire page. So having the logic inside this component makes sense. Having this template inside the component makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is having the model to show up inside the DOM nested under the table row. And because Vue.js is awesome, we have an easy fix for this. If we go to the custom model component and wrap everything with a teleport component, teleport like this, and then move everything inside the template inside this teleport component. And then we tell Vue that we want to move everything in the teleport component to be inside the body. And I'm here referring to the body tag in the DOM and save. And with just doing that, if we take a look in the browser again, let's do a hard refresh and then click edit. Now our model is showing centered on the entire page. And if we check the DOM, we are going to see that the model is directly nested under the body tag. Like it's the last thing in the body tag. So even though we have this component nested in our table component, this component no longer shows in the DOM under the dev that is containing that table component. It is completely free from its styles and everything. And if we even want to take this up one level, what we can do is that we can apply some transitions. So here, if we click edit, the model shows up out of nowhere. But inside our reusable custom model component, we can use that transition component like this and move the entire template that we have for this model inside the transition. And then let's give a transition a name. I'll name it model. And behind the scenes, I already defined the styles needed. So this transition effect is going to apply a fading effect. So it's entering from opacity zero and leaving to opacity zero. And also during entering and leaving, I'm setting the transition property to opacity with 0.3 seconds and ease. So let's save and have a look in the browser. How is it going to look like? So I'm doing a hard refresh and then click edit. It's going to smoothly fade in and also smoothly fade out. And it's no longer nested under anything. It's applying the styles to everywhere. And one of you might be thinking that we don't need teleport. We can fix this with CSS and you can, but it becomes a more difficult challenge to solve if your models are used inside a big code base with many nested components. Every component has its own styles that applies to the child styles and so on and so forth. So teleport makes your model free of everything else. 